brothers, sisters, kings and queens. It's your boy Mt. Doozy back with another video. Now all first time viewers or returning subscribers, shout out to y'all. As you can see by the topic, why you should stop drinking coffee or energy drinks. Even tea. <laughs> I'm about to get straight into it, you feel me? So, how I came about this topic was... So, at my work, my, my boss has been... Occasionally blessing me with... You know, a drink of choice. So, where I went to go buy the drink, right? Because he had given me money. Um, I found... Not like... There weren't any juices... They were just energy drinks and coke and the, the sprites and you know the the cool drinks so i took an energy drink because i'm done with cool drink you know that's something i don't drink no more yeah mainly because it made my teeth feel funny but yeah so i cut it off so i took me an energy drink i can't remember the brand but it's it's real cheap for energy drinks right but you know hi it contains caffeine yeah so okay i was drinking this energy drink and then because um when i read my bible as well as my book i have a a hard copy dictionary that i also keep nearby so whatever word i do not understand i i look it up right so as I was reading, I was like, what does, what does, caf what is caffeine, right? Since I have this dictionary, let me just search. Then I went and I looked up caffeine and I don't have my dictionary on me right now. But the definition is a drug found in coffee or tea that makes you feel more active. And to repeat it, a drug found in coffee or tea that makes you feel more active and that just honestly opened my eyes i was like caffeine is a drug then it got me thinking like why do they not ban it all because you know honestly i take a look around i'm not someone who ever bought these energy drinks for myself right like i won't take my own money out i have i used to drink them in the past but like as of recent, cold drinks or just like fuzzy drinks, I've cut them out, right? So I'm not someone who used to buy it. But when I looked around, I was like, so many people consume energy drinks. If it's not energy drinks, it's coffee. Probably more in the workplace because people, I feel like, live off coffee, right? But yeah, like coffee, energy drinks... And since they said it's also found in tea, I understand why people consume tea so much, right? There's a story I heard my dad telling my mom when he was still alive. He was talking about how by his hometown, certain a certain someone, I didn't hear the full story, but a certain someone drinks coffee about six times or they were drinking like coffee maybe about six times a day and he's like yo six times a day that's crazy and yeah when i look at it i was like oh that's what it is because i've seen like especially because i'm black i have to stereotype with black moms it's tea you know tea is the thing you know just keep a cup of tea and you know i always found it weird honestly i was like what the hell <laughs> you know honestly in my how i rationalized it right i was like maybe it's a woman thing because i haven't really seen men be like oh let me get a cup of tea there you feel me so i was like maybe it's a woman thing but then i realized now nah, it's a it's the caffeine inside the tea you know i'm not sure if these tea bags carry caffeine i'd have to check them out but caffeine and now i understand why it's so addictive you know I have to talk about my own experience drinking coffee. Like, I remember drinking coffee from high school. And I used to drink, like, a... So, here's my water bottle. It used to be, like, a... It was 
not like a normal coffee cup it was it was huge it's probably like the longest cup we have at the crib and i used to drink out of it you know coffee and i'd you know, put sugar like we normally or i've seen a lot of people do put sugar with it you know hot water and i just used to to drink and i won't like gave me like a a buzz not like a real buzz it's not but there's just something to it you feel me and that's how i started drinking coffee and i drank coffee for the longest and so if you if you see here right so i had my tooth pulled out because it was starting to rot it was like black and all and I believe it was a mixture of things because at the time I used to you know drink coffee plus sugar you know hot coffee it was the lean you know um, with the cool drink or the juice so so more sugar it was the smoking right um, yeah I just think the combination of these two things plus I used to you know at times drink alcohol I wasn't really much of an alcohol guy when I was leaning but you know there was times I even mixed alcohol with the lean the way I was so lost but yeah like it was a combination of these things that had my my tooth rotting or that made my tooth be black right so that's after I had pulled out this tooth you know I went to the dentist pulled it out I was like okay maybe it's the coffee right I suspected the coffee because also every time I drank coffee it left my my teeth feeling uncomfortable that's the right word uncomfortable so that's why like i put the coffee down slowly by slowly but surely but yeah like coffee you know tea energy drinks like energy drinks i have to say i've seen so many people on energy drinks it's like it's like the daily bread and now i'm only starting to realize it's because of caffeine right which is a drug, but which is not popularly known as a drug. So yeah, this is just like an important warning to, to put down the tea, you know, to put down the coffee, to put down the sugar. Okay, not maybe sugar is a different topic, but also put down that too. <laughs> as well as the energy drinks, you know, I'm someone who still drinks it's cappuccino right i do drink coffee from time to time but i've realized because i don't really really like drinking tea but with me it's like i have one cup of coffee you know without sugar maybe i'll add honey if there's honey but without sugar and that's my limit like i won't go over one cup of coffee a day you know that's me like but yeah, like some days, like I, I make it an effort to avoid coffee. If I can avoid it, don't get me wrong, I'm going to avoid it. But sometimes, you know, I'll be trying to, in the morning especially, when there's maybe no juice, then there's only cool drink and coffee. I'm going to obviously take coffee. But yeah, one, one cup, like, but yeah, just watch out, guys, because this thing is a drug, you know. And it's, I feel like it's, not considered a drug because it's low key like i haven't heard people like i'm craving that coffee i'm craving some tea actually i have a brother who craves that tea you know i always found it weird but now i know you know but yeah like it's a low key drug you know you don't really crave it like that but you find that you know people who are drinking tea or coffee it's the same thing and they do it throughout and your body just adjusts so watch out brothers and sisters i just feel like the holy spirit put this into my heart because when i found out about that i put it into my video ideas as something to talk about but yeah be careful brothers and sisters do your own research it's your boy mtduzi i'm out <laughs>